your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Uh, keeping an eye on the showers out there, just some very light rain showers in northeast Mississippi, moving through Lauderdale County, all the way into limestone in northern Madison County. Some of this is not reaching the ground because of that area high pressure to the northeast that continues to bring in this lower humidity and drier air, and that's going to be the case that wins out as we go into the weekend. So beautiful weather this weekend. This has never been in question. The thing that's been in question is our chance for rain Thursday into Friday, and I'll show you the latest on that in just a second, but 82, a little breezy early on. We'll have some wind gusts 20, maybe 25 miles an hour. The fire danger will increase over the weekend just due to that low humidity. But thankfully, when the lowest humidity is here Sunday, the winds will die down. Morning lows in the 50s, evening temperatures very comfortable for any of your outdoor plans out on the patio. Here's your rain on the roof forecast. We'll continue with a Friday 40% chance, and it's probably generous for some of you. The farther south you are, the better your chance for seeing showers. Uh, but even what we're seeing here, not really picked up by the model guidance. So this is kind of what we'll likely see Friday and might even wake up to a few spotty showers uh, Thursday morning as well. Here's our area low pressure just off the coast of Houston. This is going to continue to move to the east and produce very heavy rain across Louisiana into southern Mississippi and south Alabama. Not great coastal weather out there. This is also going to lead to increase in rip currents all the way through Friday if you're headed to the south. But around here, what's in it for us, right? Tomorrow morning, we start off with clouds, temperatures about where we are now, and I can't rule out some spotty showers. Notice the drier air starting to push in from Tennessee, and we're right on the line, and that's what's made it such a difficult forecast. We'll likely be in the low to mid 80s tomorrow, four o'clock in the afternoon, cloudy, and the cloudiness is, uh, mixed with the drier air makes it more comfortable out there. Not a lot of wind here, though, for your Thursday evening plans, and the temperatures will be pretty much what they are now. Now here's where it gets complicated. We've got a lot of rain to the south. That's likely going to push a rain cooled boundary to the north as we get into the middle of the morning hours on Friday. And there's also the possibility of some light rain showers, but you notice we're right on the edge here. The heavier rain down towards Birmingham there and notice the temperature swing here. 68 Albertville, 76 Huntsville, low 80s across southern middle Tennessee. And if we get a little bit more rain than we anticipate, it's likely we'll temp see temperatures a little cooler. Here's another thing we'll watch. The actual cold front coming in Friday night could trigger some showers, maybe a thunder shower, but notice temperatures will be in the low 60s as that front arrives, not expecting any severe weather with the front. The last uh, four home games for the Rocket City Trash Pandas should have good weather for that. Saturday, Sunday, again, look fantastic. Morning lows in the 50s, so very much like fall. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then we trend back up into the mid and upper 80s next week. So overall, it looks really dry, hmm. unfortunately, for the next two weeks. So.